Well, here RBC, thanks so much for taking the time to watch these announcements. Here are your announcements for Sunday, April the 7th. Hey, this is Pastor Jim here. Hope you're having a great week. Looking forward to the kickoff of our series in the book of First Timothy coming this Sunday. We're going to be going through the entire book. It's going to take us a couple months to get through. Our theme for the, the whole series is found in First Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, which says, The aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. The entire book really focuses on the need to give them instruction related to false teaching, related to uh, how the church should operate from a variety of perspectives. And so we're going to talk about that. But Paul's intent is that it's in love, that he has clarity with a good conscience and a moral spirit uh, about what all these teachings should be. We're excited about what God has to teach us through Paul's teaching to Timothy as a young pastor in the Ephesian church. Related to teaching issues, this coming Sunday evening, we're gonna be having a dialogue with Elisa Childers. Elisa is, she's a vocalist, formerly of Zoe Girl. She is an apologist. And we're gonna be talking about some of the dangerous teaching of our day, uh, specifically things like deconstructionism. What is that? What difference does it make to me? What is progressive Christianity? And what do we need to look out for? Uh, so we hope you join us on Sunday morning for one of our church services, and then again Sunday evening at 6.30 in the main uh, sanctuary as we talk through some of the challenges of our day. Hi church, I'm Noah Smith. I have two things I want to talk to you about today. The first is this Sunday, April 7th, at the 9 o'clock service, we have our Equipping the Saints class on baptism. This class is designed for anybody who's interested in learning on RBC's beliefs regarding baptism or the methodology by which you can get baptized. So we're gonna walk you through our process. Uh, and if you're interested in that, uh, that is this Sunday. The second thing I'd like to talk about is our annual Dad and Kids Camp Out. I just wanna let you know our annual Dad and Kids Camp Out is coming up this June on the 7th through the 9th. And if you know that you're already planning on coming, we would invite you to register uh, as soon as possible. Our registration is online. You can find it on our website. We hope to see you there. Hello, Reston Bible Church. My name is Tony Padroni, and I want to invite you to attend an informational meeting on April 14th, 9 a.m. in room 236 regarding our fall missions trip to a Caribbean island. Hope to see you there. Two summers ago, our church sent out a young lady from our church named Karen Lithgow to serve as a full-time missionary in southern Spain. This October, we have a chance to take a team out there to help her and uh, the church that she's serving with reach the neighborhoods and the communities around them. And so my wife and I are gonna be leading a team in October. We're having a Spain missions informational meeting on April 14th during the 1045 service. And it's gonna be uh, upstairs in the conference room 228. So if you are interested in being involved, uh, we would hope to see you there on April 14th. Thank you. Gentlemen, our next Men's Summit is right around the corner on Monday, April 22nd. It's gonna be featuring Craig Brown, who's the author of Stop Hiding, Start Healing. And he's gonna be talking a lot about emotional pain and inspiring us to overcome the shame, the guilt, the pain that plagues us so that we can be better men, husbands, and fathers. Fellas, we know that if we do not deal with some of the emotional pain that we have, that it wreaks havoc on those around us. So make sure that you come out on Monday, April 22nd for an awesome night as we go into this topic deeper with Craig Brown. My name is Bob Shaw, and I'm the pastor of community engagement here at Reston Bible Church. It is my goal and prayer to help all of us have a greater freedom in loving our neighbors and sharing Christ with them. What do you think it would do to help you in that regard if you're able to watch someone firsthand have a spiritual conversation with someone else? If you're able to hear what people in our area think about God and the Bible and eternal life, and if you were to experience what it looks like when you honor someone and ask them for their thoughts, that they get real with you and even start asking you questions. Well, I'd love for you to have the opportunity to experience that. And we're doing an event called Taking It to the Streets. It's coming up on April 21st. Go to restinbible.org backslash streets. Hey, RBC, just want to let you know, Kids Camp 2024 registration is open. So you can find information on the website and hope to see you there. Too short? That's good. Perfect. 
Well, this is the weekend that we're getting together for our women's retreat, and we are so excited. And we would like to ask for some specific prayer requests. Uh, we would like to first ask um, for all that's gone into planning for this, that it would go smoothly. We are asking for Elisa's teachings to be received with soft hearts. And we are especially praying for all the women who will be attending, that they will make connections and um, feel loved and to feel drawn closer to the Lord through our time together. Our theme is one heart and one mind, and our desire is for us to strengthen uh, what we know about the truth of our Lord and Savior and to build community based on that foundation. So please be in prayer with us as we have over 150 people coming to this retreat, and um, we will just be lifting them up to the Lord and trusting what He will be doing as fruit from this. Thank you for praying. Thanks again for taking time to watch. You can get information on all of this and more on our website, restonbible.org slash events. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you Sunday.